Hello, listener. My name is Mayari, and this is Magical Coffee Dates. I'm sitting here in the Moonbeam Tea Rooms. I've got a warm mocha with me, a sausage roll, and the owners are really cool and let me set up my laptop to record these sessions. I'm waiting to meet up with an old friend and hopefully rekindle that friendship because I moved away from the October region and sort of lost touch with everyone. But it's fine because I'm back now. I sent out a mailer cat to everyone I used to know and set up a few coffee dates. Thankfully, some people replied. And today I have with me... Jack Koisan. Hey! I mean, it's, it's great to have no you. See. I oh, know. I thought it was my turn to talk. I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh well, hello. How, how have things been? Um, good. I, I, it's been a while. I mean, like, so this is sort of my show, and I invited you. I mean, I know it's early on, but like, I would was hoping to ask you some questions because I haven't been here in so long. You know, how, when was the last time you've been here? I'm gonna ask you questions. Oh, I thought this was a collaboration, but I'll allow you to continue. (laughs) I mean, it can be, but see, this is what I didn't want. I was hoping that like, if I got to meet people that we wouldn't really have, I don't know what's happening here, but I, I really did just want to know what you've been up to and like, if you could tell me a bit more about October, I know that like the Moonbeam Tea Rooms is sort of new. But, I mean, can we just start over? I just feel like we're already starting off on the wrong foot. And You are so right. Let's start from the beginning. Jack (laughs) Khoisan. Wow, Jack, it's great to see you. How have you been? It's always great to see you. I've, you know, I have a new successful dog grooming business. (gasps) Oh! That's amazing. What's it called? Um, we don't necessarily have a, a it, it's a work in progress title. It's a Quaison's dog grooming business. Oh. No sign. I actually do need to borrow some money to get the sign. Not sure if that's something you would want to do, but. Are you asking me to invest in your business? <laughs> and trust me, the way these low down dirty dogs have been, we're going to be just fine with money. You'll get that back and then some. So, I'm sorry. I, I was also I- hoping I, I didn't have to pay it back. I thought we would be a little bit more. So are you just asking no. for a grant and then tell me there's going to be a return, but I'm not getting any return from this? Like, I don't... The return will be in smiles and thank yous as you walk down the street and you see these well-groomed dogs. Ever since my last business failed, um, my art business... Oh, um, what was that one oh. called? It was called uh, Jack Paints on You. <laughs> so, could you describe to me what that like what that would look like? Like, would you? It sounds like something you do where either people come to your shop or you would. I'm assuming you used your, um, like you drove to, maybe to clients. So, what we would do is, you know. I would work on maybe some tattoos, watercolors, but the title drew away a lot of business somehow. Um, People laughed. I didn't think it was funny. Oh. But, you know, Jack Paints on You is still a, a hobby of mine. Have you been painting anyone we know or we knew of from high school? For those, for the listener that's listening to us, we actually met when we were a lot younger and we went to the same school, but I don't think, well, I mean, I don't know if you want to tell that story, but. Well, funnily enough, this was, this was when, this was about 
We were still in our 20s. I'm still a crisp uh, 29. A 29. Yeah. I'm I not mean... 32. There, <laughs> that was a rumor that was started by my ex. I'm still 29. I mean, I'm 34. So I... I... Oh! I mean, I know that... I've... We went to the same school. I know that you're 34. We're the same age. So maybe your ex was just trying to make you sound younger by two years instead of... No, you know what it was? I got put in the advanced classes. I skipped a couple grades. And that's probably the misconception of where you right. think we're the same age. Yes. Um, well, I've that always would explain... been mature, but right. not my age bracket, No. I can imagine that someone who did skip a few grades would maybe just get tired and bored of school not being a challenge. So maybe that's why the day we met. Well, if you remember the day we met. I I remember it was a fall, autumn night, Tuesday it was, I recall. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. I definitely think so. We were, well, it was by accident that we actually met. We met up at um, someone's home. Someone's home. I've not been the successful businessman that you see today. I mean, to Uh, be fair, based on what you've told me so far today, it only makes sense because back when we met, like... Okay, well, we should probably just tell them. It makes sense. You, like, Jack has been an entrepreneur for a long time. And even though I haven't been around the last while, it's really interesting because we actually met, like Jack was saying, in someone's house. Um, mm. yeah. I remember walking into... It was a big manor house. And I remember walking into um, one of the big, uh, the main office of whoever owned it. And um, I had my hands on something. And suddenly Jack walked in. And (laughs) what were you wearing? Do you remember what you're wearing? I was wearing a ski mask. It was a cold autumn night so oh. i wanted to wear a, a ski mask and uh you know black leather gloves it was a it was a very chromatic look it was and i just remember being so startled because on top of these you were wearing a maid's outfit and i just remember like being confused and i was like this person clearly doesn't belong here and I immediately was like, who are you in my house? Because I was also trying, I didn't really want this to come out so early on in these sessions, but I was also trying to take something. And I remember that all too well. I was wearing a maid outfit. You know, my past is pretty dark. I was there to take some items from uh the rich um robin hood if you've ever heard of that um (laughs) it's a story like that where i'm the hero so i i recall when you saw me in the maid outfit and the ski mask you declared what are you doing in my house i was merely suggesting i was the new maid for (laughs) the these to wash the jewels. Uh, and I obviously didn't believe you because I I don't know why a maid would wear a ski mask to wash jewelry. So I just remember being like, this is my necklace. And, and, and let's talk about the necklace. Let's get Oh, the, it was beautiful. Oh, the emeralds that were emeralds the size of tangerines laced all around the front now the the reason i'm not sure if you wanted me to get into this on the why i would I love the I, I mean it's great i i i 
often think about this emerald the sizes of tangerines necklace and oh, yes. i mean I, I would love to hear you talk about it some more i believe it was owned by the count of monte crystals oh my goodness did he yes passed down from generations all the way to the great belgian war of 1312 what's belgian i you know you know how history is history is made by whoever says it first but anyways i wanted this necklace for you know this this woman in my life long brown hair eyes that spark she was a bernice mountain dog and i just really oh. wanted to draw her wearing it you lounge down the sofa <laughs> You I mean, know. I don't know why. I mean, couldn't the dog just have sort of been sitting? But the dog, have you ever tried drawing a dog without the Count of Monte Cristo diamond necklace? I, I can say that I have the size. I was actually drawing the neighbor's dog and I wanted to pull out all the bells and whistles. Oh. Um, they did pay me an upfront uh payments of 27 you know <laughs> money they were giving yes. you 27 money they were giving oh me 27 gosh. money Wait. yes they were giving you 27 money to steal the necklace so you can draw a picture of their dog no 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 they gave me 27 for the dog but i wanted to really impress them oh you know i work off of tips so i thought if i stole the Count of Monte Crystal necklace and put it on the dog, I could then draw a better right. picture. You That's, know? It's so weird that you bring that up because they hired me to steal the necklace for 3000 And I think, I just realized, have we never spoken about this? Have um, we never? I, did she say 1000 3000 money. I, this is weird. See, okay. See, when I did, okay. When I essentially said, what are you doing in my house? And Jack was standing there. Jack mm -hmm, couldn't even mm -hmm. get near the necklace. Oh. I was backing away with it. And Jack sort of stumbled and fell on the floor <laughs> and kind of started crying. And I took that as an opportunity to leave. It was the oh. fall. It was the fall. It, I had hay fever. I do have two left feet. Um, but a marvelous dancer is, you know. Yeah, I mean. Know. Uh, you know the ones. Uh, it, I did stumble through. Uh, you know, those marble floors were a little bit too slippery. I think they used the cheap wax, if you ask me. I mean, <laughs> I managed to get out fine, but I, yeah, I looked at the floors and was like, yeah, this looks cheap. I, I you know, I did see you, 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 uh, I did see a few mistakes and I never brought this up, but you know, I feel like you were leaving. I, I found a long strand of hair. On the floor when I oh, had stumbled. Thankfully, I picked it up. I picked it up for you. I didn't want to bring this up, but I did pick it up for you. Yes. Oh, well, maybe you were entitled to some of the money. I mean, I don't have I it do now. Need that sign, I... uh, as you know, my dog grooming business still needs funding for the, yeah. the sign right now i'm on the the corner of washington and brigsby um in the back alley oh uh, technically i'm in the the bathroom of um or it's not really a bathroom a utility room 
a utility uh-huh. yeah. there just happens to be a toilet but right. which works great for the dogs because as you know they like to go number two in the toilet well, you toss you train, it into the toilet. Are you saying? Oh, I thought you were saying like you trained the dogs to use the toilet. No, no, as no, part of no your training. Service. I just wash them, dry them, brush them. Yeah, you know. I mean, that makes the sense. works. The works. Paint their nails. I give them colored contacts. Um, I didn't know that they could have col- colored. I guess. I mean. Of course, in a place like October. Do you... Is your place in the October region? The October region? No, 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 no. I, I'm a prime location. It's booming. Just 20 minutes. Oh. 20 to 55 minutes. Uh, depending oh. on how fast you drive. Um, I'm mm-hmm. a fast uh, traveler, if you will. So, <laughs> 20 minutes for me. Um, but yes. Washington and Brigsby, Washington and Brigsby, so, outside of the October region. Right. So you the drive... audience will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure prime, they will. Prime location. Uh, I, I, I believe there is a uh, wantorium somewhere near. Oh. Me. Yes, that's how booming it is. I, uh, I'll need to check it out at some point because I've only been here a couple of weeks. And it does sound like an interesting... I would love, like, if I had... Do you take cats? We have just added cats, funnily enough, today. So, oh. yes, I could take cats. Is that too there fun is, to design? Um, uh, yes, 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 yes. You know, you, you we gotta make do where we can, you know. It's, mm-hmm. You know, businesses and success you always have to adapt to changing times yeah um, absolutely. i also take in uh lizards as well <gasps> well i mean that's good so would you have to change the name at some point since it's turning into more of a pet grooming business or would it stick to what was it jack quason's jack dog quason's grooming? dog grooming and cleaning services yes and and cleaning services what's mm-hmm, that yeah. i mean like are you also but, providing you other... know the cats are included in the ants you know but what is the cleaning services part well you know we clean them so <laughs> dry clean i just assumed that cleaning services would be sort of redundant considering grooming kind of entails well grooming is different from cleaning you know this is a common misconception oh right okay sorry no (laughs) yeah i mean i know now i don't expect uh, a non-groomer to know the difference oh yeah i mean well and i'm sort of in between things anyway so okay and i mean that's kind of why i'm sort of using my free time in between you know looking for stuff and sort of meeting up with people around lunchtime so i I do appreciate you spending time with me today and um definitely had a lot of fun yeah i mean it's great to hear about what you've been up to and i hope that you know your business gets booming by the next time i mean i don't know if you want to hang out again but like Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, would this be? Uh, do I have to pay for the bill on the stuff that I ordered? I still have a um, a pancake, uh, being made in the back. I I actually don't oh. know when it was actually supposed to come out, but it's 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 cooking and. You know, you, you can you are free to leave as well. I don't know if you want to leave, you know, the payment with me while I uh, pay for. I everything. mean, I've already paid for my stuff. That's kind of what you do when you. Is it well? It's no wonder they didn't bring you anything because you have to pay once you order. Did you hmm. just walk up to them and tell them that you wanted something and sat down? You know, I did do that i did do i walked up 
And I said, I'll have the pancake, uh, double espresso, ristretto shots. <laughs> <laughs> and then here I am. Yeah, I, I think they'll. I think they'll still bring it out to me. I I know the. They might. I know the um the bartender, or barista, if you will. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the owners are also really cool, but um this is sort of where I'm setting up. So if you need to leave, you can- after the podcast, uh, we could just sit in silence, if you will. I. Don't mind doing uh, just that. Yeah, I mean, I do have to edit some things, so that might work for me. But I do want to enjoy my sausage roll. Oh yeah, that's and right. my uh, you know I could I, you know I did take an editing class before, once. How would that help me? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand. How is you? We'll sit in silence and. Well, I could just sit here and, you know, give you some tips on editing as well afterwards. Oh, are you saying that? Are you saying that you want to hover over my shoulder in silence and give me (laughs) unsolicited tips on how to do my podcast is that precisely precise oh okay uh, the bus um, doesn't come by for another 45 minutes so. i yeah we can definitely sit in silence and you can sit across from me that's i'm that i'm okay with that I, I, you know my legs are a little sore i don't mind standing uh behind you as you edit you know i really need to see things. oh i'm a okay. visual learner okay well what well, I guess I can show you some things. Um, here, do you want to get? Absolutely, we can end this. Uh, allow me to just say, this is Jack Quason. It was great knowing yeah. you. Oh, Check out um, Jack Quason's dog grooming and cleaning services on the corner of Washington and Brigsby behind the third trash can in the back alley. Um, and that's all there is. Great. Uh, Good night. I guess I have oh, done my... I guess I have to... Uh, I guess I have done this. Uh, see you all next week, everyone. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Yay! That's hey. our episode done. Thank you so much. Um, so with me, I have, um, I don't even know what to call you. I'll call you Bestie Pork. <laughs> <laughs> Why not call you by your actual name? Bestie Pork is my government name. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for having me. I had a lot of fun, and if anyone wants to check me out, you can. Go on over to Twitter, Bestie Porg, one word, on Twitter, Twitch, and that's it. Perfect. Well, thank you for whatever this was. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do really enjoy, I enjoyed their dynamic, and I think they're, I think my character is a lot nicer version of me, and yours is like a meaner version of you, and I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Quite a really fun dynamic. So I hope <laughs> that everyone uh, listening enjoyed that. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Of course, I did not record an outro for this. And I have no idea why the outro was so short. Um, but you know what? It might not have sounded like it. But there were more cuts and edits to this episode than anything you'll hear for the next few months. And I just want everyone to know that this one took a long time to edit and it was completely worth it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please find me on Twitter, Twitch, especially Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, everything at, well, not everything. Don't do Facebook. Facebook's gone on for my, my pages, my Facebook page is gone. What I'm trying to say everything at glow And, um, Thank you so much for listening. You can support on Patreon, by the way, if you want to. And, you know, you get a bunch of cute stuff. So if you want to support the podcast, 
in this way, please check out Patreon. If not, you know, liking, following, or no, not liking, rating, following, and uh, listening are all very helpful. So thank you so much. I will see you in two weeks. Bye!